Okay, I'm back. This is part five, and uh, hopefully this is the last one. Because, you know, like I said, I'm not a pro. I don't, I don't really know much about, um, you know, um, how to mess with this yet. But I'm just letting you know I got Reason 5. Um, this is, uh, just came out. The Reason 5 um, Accord Duo. Um, you can get it separately, but I got a bundle. This is the Reason 5, along with the Record 1.5. This one brand new, and um, then while I was at the store, I was like, Well, I saw that. I'm like, well, let me go ahead and grab that too. This is um, Recycle 2.1. I don't think they really haven't changed in, in a while. I don't think it needs to because I pretty much think it's pretty much topped it. So, um, and like I said, um, I'm not a you know, uh professional musician I'm not doing this for business or anything this is more of a personal thing I mean it's like you know I mean I love I love messing with software you know in general and, um, you know I mean I'm a computer guy and uh, heard about this I was like man it'd be nice if I um, literally have a studio you know what I mean I mean you can't have a studio without the keyboard without all this all this engineering equipment they have none of this you don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars you know buying this stuff you can do you get all of this for like total for 600 I paid 600 total for this so I think that's a really really nice you know you still get the same quality as you know like probably did you spend like millions of dollars you know equipment and things like that so um but anyway in part three i just showed you pretty much what you know like the reason uh five has uh, this kong design that's the main thing i when i when i you know wants to like i heard about it for years and it's like when i heard this came out on the new version it's like y'all I gotta have this. I gotta have this. This is unbelievable. But um, yeah, this is uh, like if you do all kinds of stuff here and change drum kits, you know, when doing this. Yeah, and that's not enough. You know, if this is a pretty much the right, you know, like the right drum kit that you want, but not exactly like you. This taste, this is what this comes in. It's got the editor. You know, you can actually tweak your um, your drum sounds and all. You can make multiples. You know, I mean, I mean, what can you do? Off, what can't you do off of this? I mean, it's like you can do pretty much anything on, on, on this cone drum designer. You know, it's just a matter of uh, like how, what you're gonna do it, uh, with it. You know, basically the way I see it. But, uh, anyway, I'll show you the sound to track here. So, you, this is a Thor. This is another synthesizer here. These are synthesizers. And, um, oh, yeah, the NN19. That's another synthesizer. And, um, also, um, yeah, they got all kinds of right here on the tool. Uh, tool window. If, you, if you're a person who's more of a, yeah, I know that. I guess, um, like, yeah, I know, I know what kind of mix, I'm familiar with the mixers and synthesizers and all this stuff, this, these, this equipment, so it's like, you just quickly pull stuff over here on this section, but me, it's like, yeah, it's nice and all, but it's like, really, I'm, all I'm concerned about is, you know, like, where's the instruments, you know, because I'm so, I know the instruments, I mean, I guess any casual person pretty much know the instrument, the name of the instrument and things. So I go through here. This right here. And um let me pull this up. Uh yeah. Just throw and it's a good thing about it is um you throw like you know the instrument but you don't know what the mixer to pull it out for. If you click double click on this, any of these, it actually pull out the uh, the the equipment for you. 
was, I thought that was a cool thing. I mean, it's just it's something like some somebody like me who just don't know anything about this equipment, you know, um, but knows, you know, like yeah, I know what a church organ sound like, so I just double click on that, and this shows up. And there it is, church organ, right here. So, um, so I need to find here this right here. Where is it? I think this, I think this is the one. Um, close that up. Yeah, and you can also. I mean, that's not just the, you know, the only sound. You can pretty much tweak it and do whatever you want, and you know, get that unique sound and all that. But kind of give you the idea of that. But anyway, you know, I just show you pretty much all kinds of stuff uh, of Reason 5, basically, um, that you can pretty much add. I just, just sit here and add stuff. But you can also, like, save it. Like, well, if you want to, like, if it's just too much, um, like, stuff going on that you open up, and well, a lot of stuff that you open up, you can actually, like, minimize it. You know, and then open only the ones that you uh, that you're really working on. There you go. And that's what it looked like. It looked like um, pretty much well organized. You can still see what's going on, and things like that. So that's pretty much it for reason five. All right. I'm going to close that now. And let me tell you about this record. I record is something else. But I can't really mess with record right now because one, number one, um, seems like I probably need uh, like a, a, a another uh, audio card, you know, like an external audio device. You know, because um, I think record is mostly for, uh, like, um, for voice voiceovers. You know, if you want to record, like, outside source samples and things like that with on the mic, with the mic or whatever. And that's as far as I heard about it, so. But, you know, this right here, um, I'm, right now I'm having problems with uh, record because, uh, the registration code is not right, and um, propeller head pretty much know about it, so it's supposed to get that fixed. But, but anyway, I just show you the demo version of it, and yeah, you know, it's basically show you, you know, like what it looks like. I'm not going to do anything much on it, you know, it's just pretty much um, show you, you know, what what these these two look like, you know, when you install them. So that's basically it. Um, as you can see, they got this um, all kinds of stuff. It's, a, it's a, like a whole different uh, setup when you're dealing with this. They got this famous Neptune. Um, let's get this Neptune instrument in here. I don't even know what it's called. That's, that's how much I know about music. <laughs> but. What this thing does is to do the like the the voice of like the robotic voices and stuff like that if you want. So, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, man, well, let me see if I can press play on it. Nope, it's nothing there. Thought they have a demo or whatever for it, but you know, I guess not. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, open demo song. Let me see this. Uh, real quick, I got a real fast computer. There you go, and that's pretty much what I did. I guess it'll uh, play it. I don't know. I probably have to check on that thing. But anyway, uh, that's what it pretty much looked like. I gotta check my uh, my audio card and check to see what's going on. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, look like a must-have here. Thank you.
ਪਲੀਜ਼